What's up, YouTube? This is Sea Dog, and I'm back with part two of the Transformers McDonald's Beast Machines McDonald's toys. These came out in 2000 for those that didn't watch part one. And if you didn't watch part one, I strongly suggest you go back and watch part one, which shows off the whole crew, the roll call, and then I go over the Autobots, the transformation, and details. Uh, we'll just do a quick roll call in case you haven't been here. Back in the background, we have Rat Trap, Night Scream, Black Arachnia, Cheetor, and Optimus Primal. Then we have, and I've done those, and we have Thrust to do, Tankor, and Jetstorm. And the Tyrant Megatron. So, we'll get started. So, in the Beast Machines, they had the Maximals, which were in the background, and the Viacons. And Megatron, who was a Predacon, decided to... Um, and I do... Actually, I do want to go back and reiterate, I did call these Predacons in review one and i'm just remembering this now they're actually viacons because he was a predacon and he went back and to cybertron and he took over and he became a viacon that was his way of becoming um trans organic i think is what they believe they called it i haven't watched it in years it came out in 2000 so we're gonna just start this right up and see what we can do here we got a uh, thrust let's see if we can get the light right on him this is thrust very cool figure. He's got uh, wheels that roll. He does roll very well. Yeah. Um, he has a nice pink head, purple body. Kind of like to show it. He's got his exhaust pipes going out the back like he's supposed to. You see the wheels roll. He's got blue plastic, pink and red plastic see-through translucent blue with some a yellow paint app on the back of his exhaust on the back of his um, bike mode and it does look like he does have a small paint app across his eye to darken up the red all right so thrust in the show was a vehicon and there was one main thrust and then he had a bunch of uh, Viacon soldiers that look just like him and let's just call this thrust and a lot of the Viacons didn't even have legs they either rolled on tracks or in the air uh, with hovering with no legs or in this case he rode up on in one wheel so to transform thrust you just pop him up like so pull his arms down and uh I think what they want you to do with this is you want you kind of to go like this so you can kind of you can do a little better than that though like that basically I mean, you can do it like this if you can get it to work that's kind of how he would sit forward well his arms would go forward though like that and he would roll around like this but this is him in his you know bot mode Close up on the face. You can see the details molded in. He's got that nice red visor. Although they could have done a little better to make it come in. But I actually really like the character thrust. And I don't have my Beast Machine toys anymore. I may have a few of them, but I used to have all of them. And it's a bummer that I don't have them anymore. They were actually stolen. They were stolen by a guy I did a deal with and he took all of everything. He was supposed to take just one set. I had two set. I used to buy two sets of everything. He took both sets of everything, and he charged me. He basically paid me, took everything, and then wouldn't get everything back. And there's only, the deal was only for one set of everything, and he took all my boxes. I was pretty pissed. But he has an, a head that'll move up and down a little bit. His arms will move around. He has this kind of motion here. And mainly, you just kind of want to set him up so he stands like that. So we'll put him aside. That's thrust. 
Next, we'll go to his buddy Jetstorm. And Thrust was, um, they were all, like, they all had the sparks of a Maximal. Megatron took, extracted their sparks, and then turned them into something else. And Rhinox became Tankor. I remember that. Uh, Jetstorm was, I believe, Silverbolt. Or so, yeah, not so, whatever, yeah, I think it's Silver Bowl, but not the one from G1. And then, um, Thrust, I'm, I'm drawing a blank, guys. For anyone that knows, please leave it in the comments so people can find out and whatnot. So we have Jetstorm next. And he was kind of a wonky jet that had a neck, an extending neck. He could kind of look around. It would look left and right, too. This one won't. Oh, maybe it will. Let's see. Oh, I guess, yeah, it will. <laughs> Oh, shit. That's kind of cool. But anyways, um, he's blue plastic. He's got a little bit of translucent orange for his eyes in jet mode. He's got yellow plastic for the edges of his wings. He's really sticky. Ugh. And uh, a little bit of gray plastic here. No real paint apps that I can see. Um, and let's see where that symbol is. I guess it's in robot mode. And thrust symbol. Yeah, I don't see thrust symbol, guys. Huh. I don't know why it doesn't have a Viacom symbol. Maybe it does and I'm just missing it. Anyways, sorry to prolong this for a few. Um, okay, so Jetstorm. So what you do is just flip this back. You pull these out and down, so it kind of makes his arms and they're posable. And that's kind of what he looked like in the show. He was like a drone, like that. Mm, kind of flew around like this in the air. Um, I like how these are actually more an animation accurate. The toys were more animation accurate at McDonald's than they were in the aisles. So I'm actually kind of digging these. And if you can see there, there's the Viacon symbol. Let's see if we can get a little bit of light on it. Yeah, you're not going to really get to see that too well. I can barely see it by my eyes. So he's got blue paint app on his chest. Let's focus the light. Uh, blue chain paint app on his lower abdomen. He's got a dark blue paint app going up the middle of his chest. That's light blue. He's got light blue paint app and a red paint app for his visor. And that's about it. But you can also, if you want to make him stand, he does split open. You can either make him stand like this. He also extends so he can kind of wobbles around a little bit. You know, and his head, like I showed you, his head will turn a little bit. Arms will go out and all the way around. And he's just a really cool representation of thrust or of Jetstorm from the Beast Machine show. So uh, let's see if I can get him to stand. I guess this is why they go like this. He's not an easy one to stand, but and. Uh, I don't know if he stands. I mean, I've gotten him to stand in the past, but I don't know. Anyways, we're going to just transform him back into a jet just because it's much easier than spending all day trying to get him to stand. And if you see, he's got those holes there, so I like that. He's got locking points. Okay, next we have Tankor. Tankor's got some nice translucent plastics. I that would go through like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh, guys? There's the view console, too. Okay. And he's got a red paint app for his top of, or his visor. He's got some yellow paint apps for the lines on the sides of his treads. And silver paint app for the front of, inside of his tread. That dark blue paint app all across his chest, or I don't know what you call that in in a tank mode, but he would roll around in a tank, and like I said before, he was he was Rhinox, and he could like look around. He had a gun, 
that would go around and go up and down. It was actually a cannon, but come on, focus. There we go. And uh, to transform him, you want to lift it up, put his head gently up like that. You want to pull these around and open up his treads like that. So around, open up his treads, and like that. And he can move his arms. He can move his legs, and he can move his head, and his cannon. So he's pretty articulate for a little McDonald's toy. I mean, think about it now. They, this is hard, 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 hard plastic, guy. Like, listen, listen. Very hard plastic. <laughs> they don't even make our normal toys with this plastic anymore. So... But he's really cool. Like I said, I really love this set. I've had it for a long time. So it's nice to be able to share it with you guys. All right, we've done Jetstorm. And last but not least, we have the Malevolent Megatron. And as you can see, he's the dragon mode. He can move his, he can move his uh, head up and down. It doesn't turn side to side. It's supposed to just kind of sit out, but it doesn't all the time. He's got wings that flap. It looks like wings from the inside, and he does have legs that can move up to this point and then back down. So he's pretty cool. He's got a red paint out. Let's see if we can do this. No, he his his uh, translucent won't go from the back, but he's got the Viacon symbol right there. He's got some translucent purple. This is translucent, like orangey red. This is translucent purple. Which is kind of cool. He's got a blue paint app underneath his neck there, mixed with blue plastic to match it, and then a yellow paint app on top of his head. It's a dragon moon. And a uh, red paint app all across his chest here. Done nicely. Not too much bleeding for a McDonald's toy, and a red paint up in the inside to cover his wings. So to transform him into Megatron, you would go like this and flip it around, put his head in, flip that around. That's just remember Megatron's old football helmet. So you can get a better view of that. There we go. And uh, he just he would kind of sit around like this in the show attached to all these wires and it's pretty cool that they actually gave us these toys I remember having this Megatron in the real copy and he came out late you can see his arms that's what his arms would look like the molded in arms they were like long kind of like makeshift arms that he would use and he was attached to all this uh, wiring but that's going to be my review, guys. Uh, sorry it was so long, two parts and all, but um, I really wanted to show the love for these toys. And uh, let me know what you think about the figures and if you think it was cool to show you guys or whatever. And um, leave a comment, like, and please subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to see more toy reviews. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.